check. Check one, check two. Hi, my name's Dr. Dan. Welcome to another Voice Essentials Quick Tip. Learning to sing is an exciting journey of self-discovery and artistic expression. Learning to sing is also a lifelong pursuit, so vocal practice is something we singers need to be doing throughout our lives. The fact is, no singer has ever arrived at their final destination. This all being said, I know you're just as keen as I am to get the most out of your vocal practice. I don't want to be blowing practice notes just to pass time, and neither do you. This video will provide you with some practical tips designed to help you maximise your valuable time and effort when developing your voice. If you want to make the most out of your practice time, I recommend approaching each vocal workout as an opportunity to develop your technique. By this, I mean don't simply go straight to the fun stuff, that is, singing songs. Remember, if you always do what you've always done, you'll always get what you've always got. Use your technical exercises to challenge the voice. The activities on my vocal workout CD, Dr. Dan's Voice Essentials, will do the trick. If you organise the technical portion of your vocal practice well, starting low and easy and working through to harder and higher notes, the technical portion of your practice will simultaneously warm and tone your voice. This way, you'll get to the fun stuff vocally prepared. It's a win-win. I recommend that beginner and intermediate students start by practicing every second day. The important thing to remember is that the moving parts of your voice are mostly muscle. Muscles fatigue and need periods of rest. The heightened activity of singing is a muscular workout like no other, so don't overdo it. This being said, don't allow four days to go by without hitting the vocal gym. Muscle tone starts to decline after 96 hours, and this will mean you have ground to regain when you come back to your practice next time. If you're a professional vocalist, I recommend five days of vocal workout a week, but make sure you have at least two days off in seven. The professional voice requires rest, just like the amateur voice. If you're just starting to develop a vocal workout regime, I recommend commencing with about 20 minutes every second day. After two weeks of regular practice, increase the workout by five minutes and do so every two weeks until you're practicing for between 50 minutes to an hour. Of course, this will be governed by your vocal condition and health. There are going to be days when vocal practice is not advisable. So if your voice is sore due to infection or overuse, then vocal rest is the best prescription. Perhaps the best time to practice is late afternoon before you've had your evening meal. Of course, this is in an ideal world, so look at your diary and schedule your practice so that it gets done. There is one rule that should not be broken, however. As tempting as it may be, don't practice in your car. Your motor vehicle can be a great place to listen to new songs, embedding them into your working memory. But it is the last place that you should give voice to those songs. Sorry, the car is simply too loud an environment to make it a safe place for singing. Not to mention that your body is all out of alignment when you're seated in a car. All things being equal, your practice time should consist of 50% technique, 50% repertoire. A good all-round vocal workout should cover every aspect required for singing. I often say to my students that many of the vocal tasks that I will set them are more than achievable for the average voice. But what many students find the most difficult is the discipline required for regular practice. Having literally taught thousands of singers, it's been my observation that every student who has been able to master the discipline of vocal practice, regardless of whether they are naturally talented or not, advance and develop in their vocal skill. Perhaps it goes without saying, but these same singers also seem to enjoy their singing much more because their songs are performed with greater ease and vocal ability. As the old saying goes, the harder you practice, the luckier you get. 
So the moral to this story is, stop watching YouTube videos and go start your next vocal practice. For other helpful singing tips, check out my YouTube channel and subscribe. I'd also love you to join my free email list. Simply go to desjarts.com.au and sign up on the homepage. I wish you all the best as you continue to develop your voice with regular practice.